Hello and welcome to airgunweb.com, your home for honest, real-world airgun reviews and information where we bring you the facts, not fluff. Today's video focuses on a brand new product from Hotson USA. Now they're known for making air guns that deliver more than their specs promise. How does this new ATP2 QE Tactical do? Well, you're going to have to watch the video and find out. P2 QE Tactical is a multi-purpose air gun that started out as a high-powered PCP pistol. Now, it wasn't too long before Hotson released a version that made use of their tactical stock. Now, they've added their QE suppressor technology to really create the ultimate carbine pistol combination. Hotson has never been known for creating delicate air guns, and this rifle is surely not going to change that perception. It's big and it's heavy. As a pistol, it's frankly massive, although surprisingly manageable if you have sufficient upper body strength. The molded grip is set up for right-handers only, but you can get a set of left-handed grips directly from Hassan USA if you're a lefty. Now I've mounted a BSA red dot optic so that I can easily move between pistol and carbine configurations without having to change scopes. For me, this works quite well. Now at 10 yards and configured as a pistol, I can pretty much hit one inch targets at will it does get a bit fatiguing as it is quite heavy. Installing the tactical stock is a snap as it just clicks into place. Once installed, it completely changes the shootability of this little carbine. All of a sudden, you have a very well balanced and extremely stable shooting platform. Sticking with the red dot scope, well, that may limit your effective range if you're really looking for that pinpoint accuracy. But for me, it suits the intent of this product very well, which is a close range target, pest, and small game getter air gun. Other features of this 22 caliber version include a hard shell case, two 10 shot magazines, an automatic safety, and a fully adjustable two stage quattro trigger. Out of the box, mine's breaking at around three pounds, which is fine for my needs. Okay, so by now you've probably figured out that this new AT P2QE Tactical is a PCP air gun, and that means you need to fill it before you shoot it. While I have plenty of air tanks, I'd like to point out that with such a small cylinder, this product is very easy to fill with a hand pump and it only takes about 45 strokes to top it off. Now the cylinder is very small and it delivers only about 15 shots through the usable shot curve. Now my rifle is averaging 791 FPS using the 14.66 grain H&N field target trophy pellets. Now that's a solid 20 foot pounds. As expected, that's actually above what's on paper, which is 780 FPS and 19.8 foot pounds. Hotson states you may be able to get 15 to 25 shots at optimal velocity. I'm getting a solid 15 shots at optimal velocity, but that's it. Now, you could maybe play with the power adjustment a little bit and try and stretch it to that 25 shots, but out of the box, expect a solid 15. As I stated earlier, at 10 yards and configured as a pistol, shooting one inch targets is pretty much a breeze. I've got my front yard range set up with some silhouette targets and they really don't stand a chance. If you had to clear out some garden pests at close range, this would certainly do the trick. Now on my longer 20 yard range, I've set up some gamma knockdown targets at varying distances. And with the stock installed and the red dot sight, they're pretty easy to eliminate. Now I can take that red dot sight and at 20 yards, maybe 22 yards, shooting from a bench, I'm getting some very consistent groupings.
So here's our final summary. I think Hatsan has created a pretty cool little air gun here, and I see it filling a very unique niche. I think it's going to be really good for those air gunners that are looking for something compact and very easy to fill with a hand pump. While other products may take hundreds of strokes, this really only needs 45 strokes to bring it back to that 200 bar. Now I use the Hill Pump, which is my preferred pump when I have to fill by hand. It's very reliable and it's completely user serviceable, and that's very important. Now, I'm primarily a target shooter and I would like a higher shot count, but I need to be realistic. You're either going to get power or you're going to get shot count. It's very tough to get both with such a small cylinder. In the end, it's hard to argue with the real world results I'm getting. My rifle pushes well over 800 feet per second and it's averaging 790 feet per second through those optimal 15 shots. It's more than accurate enough for small game out to 20, maybe 30 yards, and it's very compact and easy to fill. If that's the type of air gun you're looking for, you need to give the AT P2 QE Tactical a serious look. I'd like to take a moment to thank Hotson USA for providing our review product today, and of course Pyramid Air for sponsoring Airgun Web in these videos. Please be sure to take a look at the video description for more information and the links to the products used in this video. And when you're ready to make your next purchase, make it over at PyramidAir.com and let them know that Rick sent you their way. When you're looking for honest, real-world airgun reviews, think Airgun Web, where we tell you the facts, not fluff. I'm Rick Utzer with AirgunWeb.com. Thanks again for watching.